What's up everybody, got a review for you today. We're gonna to be looking at Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII Reunion. Uh, I call this shooting from the hilt because it's just kind of my ungathered thoughts. I ain't really uh, wrote anything down or got anything gathered together. Uh, but my main thoughts on Crisis Core, uh, it's just okay. It's an okay game. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy VII, you probably want you probably want to get in it just to just to get the story. You may have missed this when it was on PlayStation Portable. I don't remember. I don't really remember if I played it or not. I think I did, but but I may not have. I couldn't remember a lot of it when I when I went back when I, well when I played when I played this one. But you can tell it was made for that for that portable hardware. It's not really made for the consoles. Uh, the reason I think it's just okay is it the the mechanics get boring after a while now as far as the story goes i enjoyed it now it's very campy and goofy but that that that's part of what you like about it it looks good they have made it look pretty good it looks good on the on the on the screen i like the graphics and, and thought all of that was okay but as far as the the mission structure you're just kind of picking missions and then extra ones pop up that you can do on the side to kind of level up your character get more material and and and, and all, all that fun stuff but they're very repetitive Repetitive. You just do them over and over again. It's the same places. Just enemies are kind of in different places. Treasure chests are hidden in different areas, and you do that to unlock, you know, unlock more powerful uh, uh, materia and stuff like that. You can use in the game summons and and things. But as far as the as far as that goes, you never know when you're going to get to use it. It's got like a roulette system, and it it's it's random when you do even a, a summon or anything like that so you're not really doing it but as far as the fighting and stuff goes it is it, it's fine it's nothing spectacular but but it's fine the the main reason you would want to play it is is for the is for the story but overall my opinion is the game it's just okay it if, if i was doing a number rating it's somewhere in a six and a seven, to be honest. It, it there's a lot of people hopping hopping this thing up big time, but I think they got some. They're they're just they're just high on Final Fantasy right now. And I'm gonna tell you, I love Final Fantasy. I'm an RPG freak. I all the way from six. You know, six was one of my favorite ones, and I I played all the other ones before. But but I think some people's just I don't know. They're they're living off the high of Final Fantasy, and they're bumping it up a little higher than it should be. But it's somewhere right in there in the middle. And if you are a Final Fantasy fan, I do think you need to play it. If you don't care much about Final Fantasy, you probably just want to miss it. But you do want to play it, especially if you played the, the remake, because there's some stuff in this that, that I believe is going to play a part as far as we go in the remake. It's already kind of kind of hitting at it. So somewhere around a 6, if I do the teacher score, it would be a C. Uh, if you're into Final Fantasy, I encourage you to check it out. But that's my thoughts. I'd love for you to get in the comments and tell me your thoughts about it. Hope you all have a great one.